look at this example with me 1 over 2 we can convert 1 over 2 from fractions here to this one number by convert the denominator here by multiplication by 5 and then numerator and also times by 5 because 2 times 5 equal 10 and 1 times 5 equal 5 5 over 10 it will be 5 tenths we can convert here half to 0 0.5 half equal 0 0.5 or 5 tenths you can convert from fraction to decimal number we know 2 times 5 equal 10 and 1 times 5 equal 5 5 over 10 equals 0 0.5 3 over 4 you can convert this fraction here by multiplication by 25 numerator and numerator 4 times 5 equal 100 3 times 25 3 times 5 equal 15 5 and carry up 1 2 times 3 equals 6 6 plus 1 equals 7 75 over 100 you can write it 0 0.7 and 5 the result would be 75 hundredth 75 hundredth understood look at this question 2 over 5 you can convert to this fraction to decimal by multiplication by 2 numerator and numerator why because 2 times 5 equal 10 you must convert the numerator of all questions here to be 10 or 100 or 1000 as this example number one number two number three here two times five equal ten two times two equal four four over ten it will be four tenths four tenths we convert this fraction by multiplication to a numerator and numerator why because four over ten it will be zero point four we must put the point after one digits but 75 over 100 we must put the point after two digits right 75 and the point after two digits here one two and raise the point and one about what about here one over eight you know eight times 125 equal 1000 then you can write 125 times 1 equal 125 so 125 over 1000 you can write it 125 and the point after three digits here it will be 125 thousandths and what about 3 over 8 you can convert by multiplication by 125 numerator and numerators 8 times 125 equal what we know 8 times 125 equal 1000 and 3 times 125 3 times 5 equal 15 5 and the carry up 1 2 times 3 equal 6 plus 1 equal 7 and 1 times 3 equal 3 the result would be 375 thousands complete with me this example 2 over 4 we can write this example in the simplest form in the first step 2 over 4 we can divide it by 2 numerator and numerator 2 divided by 2 equal 1 4 divided by 2 equal 2 the result would be 1 over 2 it's a half half it's meaning 0 0.5 okay and what about it 1 over 3 it's a repeated number we can write 0 0.333 and blah 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 so on okay because 1 over 3 it's infinity numbers you can write uh, it by using calculator 1 over 3 it will be 0 0.333 or you can simply sit write 0 0.3 write dash up this digits and what about 2 over 3 you know 2 over 3 it's meaning what 2 multiplication 0 0.333 and so on 0 0.6 and 6 and 6 is the result would be infinity number it's repeated number here we can write dash up the digits here and what about 1 over 9 1 over 9 we can write it by using calculator the result would be 0 0.1 and 1 and 1 and 1 and, 1 and, 1 and so on you can find this result in the simplest form 0 0.1 and write dash here or you can using the long division to write the result in the simplest form 1 divided by 9 look at with me here i will explain this example because it's really important for you 1 over 9 you can write 1 divided by 9 you must put point behind 1 and a lot of zeros behind it 1 divided by 9 we can't do it so we must write 0 here in the cushion and then write point here 10 divided by 9 equal 1 
1 times 9 equal 1, 9, and then we, we can find the result by subtracting by minus uh, 9 equal 1, and then drop the digits here, 0, 10 divided by 9 equal 1. 1 times 9 equal 9, 10 minus 9 equal 1, and again drop 1 here behind, 0 behind 1, it will be 10 divided by 9 equal 1. So it will be infinity digits. So you can find the result in the simplest form by using calculator, 1 divided by 9, it will be 0 0.1. So a lot of examples, if I get you another example, 2 over 9, you can write what? 2 over 9, it will be 0 0.2, blah, 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 2, 2, and infinity, it will be 2, and write dash up it. And what about 5 over 9? It will be 0 0.555, 5, 5, and so on. And you can sample this, it write 0 0.5, and write dash up the digits here. Okay, understood? This is a rule about it divided by 9. In digits divided by 9, you must write 0 and point and write these digits behind it, such that 7 over 9, you can write here, 7 over 9, it will be 0 0.7 and 7 and 7 and so on, or you can sample it, write 0 0.7 and dash up it, okay? Look at last one here, 5 over 8. 5 over 8, we can convert it by multiplication by 125. Why? Because 125 times 8 equal 1,000. You must convert the denominator. Why? Because any digits or any numbers divided by 10 or 100 or 1,000, you must put the point after the digits. Okay, 8 times 125, we can find the result by multiplication by 125. 8 times 125 equal 1,000. And 5 times 125, 5 times 5 equal 25. Write 5 and carry up 2. 2 times 5 equal 10. 10 plus 2 equal 12. 2 and carry up 1. 1 times 5 equal 5 plus 1 equal 6. The result will be 625,000. Thousands. Okay, because we divide it by 1,000. Look at this question 2 over 3. It will be 0 0.666 and so on. But in this example, it's infinity digits. If you divide it five by five by eight, the result will be six hundred twenty-five thousands. Understood? Okay. You must put in your mind one over three equals zero point three, and three and three and so on, and two over three equals zero point six and six and six. One over nine zero point one one. But if we have here five over eight, you must multiplication one hundred twenty-five. Okay. In the last here, you must know this rule. 2 times 5 equal 10, okay? And 4 times 25 equal 100. You must put these rules in your mind. If you want to convert any fraction to decimal number, you must convert the numerator to be 100 or 10 or 1000 and so on. And what about 8? 8 times 125 equal what? Equal 1000. Understood, my students? Okay. Thank you. Goodbye.